Imagine staying in a hotel on the edge of a mountain cliff. With almost a thousand metre drop, it's definitely not for the faint-hearted. But if you can overcome the steep cliff edge and the unpredictable conditions, you can witness incredible wildlife. I'm Danny, I'm a wildlife photographer, and welcome to the Alps of Switzerland. The second part of my Alps adventure takes place in Switzerland. After spending a few days in the Italian Alps, focusing on mammals, it was now time to find a pretty epic raptor. The mountains here are stunning and we're on our way to a very unique hotel. We're about to take a cable car to the top of a mountain in Switzerland and we're literally staying in a hotel on the top of a mountain and I'm hoping to photograph a really, really cool bird. The cable car was taking us up almost a thousand metres and the drop looked pretty daunting. We checked into the lodge that is separate to the restaurant. So we've arrived at the hotel in the mountains and we went to check in and there's so many chuffs. So distracted, okay. Um, so we went to check in and collect the key and uh, we asked the guy, oh, where are the vultures? Like, where do we go to see them? And he was just like, oh, well, um, I can email him and I can ask and I'll, I'll let you know where he is. And we thought the guy was talking about like a tour we can go on. <coughs> Bless you. A tour we can go on with a guide or a birder or someone. And he was just like, it's a joke. I meant the vulture. So the guy was trying to tell us that the vulture would email him his location and he will let us know where the vulture is. Um, so we didn't get the joke and it was a bit awkward, but anyway, we're gonna get ready and go and find the vultures, hopefully. to the spot where you're supposed to see a bearded vulture. The visibility's awful, but we've got chuffs and they're very entertaining. So 
I'm happy. Oh, he looks. You see him, Ben? Although we were alone on this mountain edge, we've been told this is the spot to see the bearded vultures. But we were soon joined by the chuffs and passerine birds that were a delight to photograph. Thick snowflakes are one of my favourite conditions, so this felt like easy photography. The temperature started to drop and the wind picked up. It was almost impossible to see or take photos. A new trip means new photos and a new blog post. And I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and helping me go on trips like this. It's really simple and easy to make a professional website on Squarespace. It's perfect for photographers, artists, and small business owners. I've sold my calendars for three years on Squarespace, but recently I've been updating my blog with my favorite photos from Switzerland. It's such a nice way to display my photography. And if you'd like to give Squarespace a go, head to squarespace.com slash dannyconnorwild and you can save 10% of a new website or a domain. After a quick breakfast, I headed straight to the mountain edge. The conditions were good, not perfect, but there was a good chance the bearded vulture would show. The first exciting encounter was this golden eagle who flew straight in front of us.
Nothing compares to seeing a majestic bird in their wild environment. But it wasn't the vulture, so we wait. After waiting in the cold and wind, I decided to have a break and I went to the restaurant for a coffee and I was sat about there. And whilst I waited, a bearded vulture flew straight past me, literally eye level. I ran out and the vulture had already gained altitude. He flew a little closer, but I'd missed the photo I was after. I got something, but it's not what I wanted. The vulture did his part, but I didn't do mine. I had got impatient and bored of waiting. But let me rewind a week ago. I was actually on a family holiday. This holiday was the reason I planned this photography trip. And on the last day, Juan and I went looking for wildlife. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And a bearded vulture literally flew two meters above us. The lesson I've learnt is never to underestimate the unpredictability of nature. Sometimes it's better to put the camera down and just watch with your own eyes. So I missed the eye level photo I wanted. But if someone ever asks me, where was the best coffee I ever had? I'd say on a mountain in a warm cafe with a bearded vulture on the other side of the window. I have to admit, I was quite annoyed for an hour or so, but then I had fun with the chuffs. Who really wanted my homemade raisin oat cake? We got the cable car down and headed to our next location. I'll probably be back at some point to get that photo. It's our last day in Switzerland today and we're hanging out with Fabian, a Swiss wildlife photographer and biologist. And we've come to this forest to find nutcrackers and they're pretty much everywhere.
After a busy week of filming, it was so nice to spend a relaxed day with Fabian. I was very excited to see nutcrackers for the first time. And it was fascinating to see black red squirrels. They're so different to the squirrels in Sweden. Several weeks after returning from this trip, I accidentally knocked my hard drive with the footage and photos from this day. I sent it to a data recovery specialist and they were unable to recover any of the data. So I actually lost my photos from this particular day. This footage is Juan's and Fabian's. A big thank you to them for filming and for Fabian for hosting us. Check out his channels in the description.